Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. In this video, we'll discuss solutions to the questions in paper 2 of the 2014 JE Advanced Physics question paper. Let's move on to question 19. So we are given an inclined plane of inclination theta and two objects M1 and M2 where the friction only acts on M2, it does not act on M1. Yeah, the coefficient between M2 and the plane is 0 and between between M2 and the plane is 0.3 and between M1 and the plane is 0 and M1 is equal to 1, M2 is equal to 2. So first of all, let's see when there will just be slipping. When there will the slipping will just begin, the total frictional force on this combined system which will be mu mg cos theta mu m2 g cos theta has to be equal to the total gravitational force which is m1 plus m2 g sin theta which means 0 0.3 into 2 cos theta is equal to 3 sin theta which means tan theta is equal to 0 0.2 which means theta is equal to 11.5 degrees. That means 11.5 degrees is when slipping starts. So we have P, Q, R and S options. For P and Q there is no slipping because it's less than 11.5 degrees. For R and S there will be slipping because it's more than 11.5 degrees. And the friction is in list 2. When it is not slipping, which is P and Q, the friction will be equal to whatever is needed. That is M1 plus M2 G sin theta which is option 2. So both of these have an option 2. For R and S when there is slipping, friction will just be mu n even if that can't cover mg sin, m1 plus m2 g sin theta. So friction will be mu m2 g cos theta which is option 3. So P and Q get option 2, R and S get option 3 which means the answer is D. Thank you.